Hello humans, welcome back to The Nora Show. Let us today discuss shoes that do not hurt our feet and also do not disrupt our vibe. Quite a few weeks ago, Empress Shoes sent me a box. And yet, you have not seen the box. Why? Well, two days after I got the box, I went out and got the mail. I was wearing tennis shoes. I was walking. I stepped on a pine cone and the pine cone took me out. A tree fetus took me out. And when I say took me out, I mean on my butt in my front yard. And I sprained my ankle on a level that I have not hurt myself at in years. I mean, so of course, I'm like, I have a pair of shoes, that's... So basically for the past three weeks, I haven't exactly been wearing structured shoes of any kind. <laughs> now I'm actually rather excited about this because the shoes that I have here aren't true vintage. They're not a model after something that is and look at this magazine uh, photo from 1927. And now look at this shoe. It's a reproduction and you are so period. It is time travel approved. We know, we know I love time travel approved items. However, however, there's a problem with this. I have a lot of friends who do the vintage thing in their own style, in their own way, with their own personal, ooh, this time period, or ooh, that specific designer or style. None of them, none, none of them do this 24 seven in a purist route. It's almost impossible, as well as insanely expensive. Most of them end up with what I like to call generic vintage. Think history bounding. It's where you take an item and you have a general feel. For example, today. I'm still really bad at this whole camera angle light thing. Right now, my hair, if I didn't have it pulled back, is basically 70s disco hair and it's really wild. But I know that I can do two combs, do this, put some bobby pins in. I don't look like 2023. We don't entirely know what era I landed in, but it's not today. This is a today blouse, but I also have suspenders and a high rise pants from Unique Vintage. What shoes do I wear? Because I do not do not want to put tennis shoes with this. Now I can put my keys with this. This is adorable. It's a great look, but that's not always what I want to do. And there are times that I'm going to be in my shoes for a long time, many, many hours. And if I have many, many hours of shoes on my feet, I need to be very careful. I have feet problems. I have a knee problem. I have a hip problem. I have a foot problem. We all have issues. We get older. We are no longer able to, you know, walk three miles back to the dorm in our stiletto heels. It's been an actual active search that I have had in the past few years trying to figure out generic shoe for vintage vibe, but not um, uncomfortable. I want a shoe that generally, genuinely does not bother my foot. There are times that my feet hurt and I just need to be more gentle with myself and that I need to dial back my, my time travel perfection commitment. So when Empress Shoes contacted me and said, we want to send you a pair of our shoes, I was like, Empress Shoes? What? I don't know who you are. Tell me more. Let me show you. I am pleased to introduce to you a revolutionary new heel design to be comfortable enough to dance in all night long. We all know the struggle of finding the perfect pair of heels that look great but end up causing pain and blisters. That's why 
Empress says that they have created a heel that looks cute on the outside, but feels like sneakers on the inside. They also say that they have worked with experts and put in over 345 hours and 12 revisions, and that they have created a heel with a unique square toe shape that conforms to your foot, provides maximum comfort and pain relief. Empress claims that these heels are perfect for anyone with foot problems like plantar fasciitis, neuropathy, bunions, hammer toes, or arthritis. They are made from buttery soft leather, and these heels are designed for all-day comfort, with extra arch support and a sock-like fit to ensure your heel won't slip off. There is a 365-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk in trying them out. Empress also states that you can use orthotics with the square toe heel. I'm going to put on shoes and I'm going to take a walk. This is fantastic. This room is 100% not my disaster to clean up. And it's the only place that I could figure out how to do filming at all where there's not carpet. But I would like to say that right now, the shoes are not making me angry, like at all. Let's go for a walk. Okay, this test, I is straight up, I still have a mildly angry ankle. So this is possibly a fantastic test in the sense of um, what happens with a with an angry ankle in these shoes, which normally anything that has a heel or looks like a dress shoe, I wouldn't normally put on after something like this at all. I can feel where my ankle is still bruised. That's not the shoe's fault at all. I am walking at a normal clip and the heel part that's coming up and touches the ankle. That's not pressing in. I always have problems with that. Oh, hello, puppy. I know. Bark, 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 bark. I don't know if you can hear the barks, other dogs. Oh, Watson's very excited. Okay. And the, uh, the toes, I'm not, this looks like a dress shoe, but my toes aren't being rammed into like a, a, um, um, a point. Oh, oh, don't, don't cross over in front of me. And then he hasn't been on a walk in a while, so he's very, very excited. But my toes are not being rammed up into my f into the front of the shoe. In fact, my foot isn't sliding around in the shoe at all, but it's also not uh, tight. But my ankle is a little bit angry, so I'm gonna actually turn around here, and I'm gonna walk back. Whoop, oh, 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 no, we gotta, we, we need to sniff stuff. I'm watching myself walk, and as I look down, I keep seeing my red shoes. So my conclusion is this. I rather like these shoes. I had been looking for a pair of shoes that I could wear in the most generic of forms and just look good and not have hurting feet. Basically, no consequence history bounding. Okay, come on, come on, come on in. I have been looking for a pair of shoes that I could exist in and have a generic vintage feel. And I think, I think I just got a pair of shoes that works for that. I mean, there is nothing about this that isn't adorable. Okay, let's be practical. I have a bone spur on my left foot. I have a knee that I can pull the uh, fibula in and out of my kneecap. And I have a left side hip injury. So this makes for like the left leg. It's really important that I choose my shoes well. I know how long I can be in almost any of my shoes before there are problems. And I usually cut off about an hour before then. These have a very, this would, I have a feeling that these have the longest time range on them that's not a sneaker. Uh, they're not a sneaker, okay, they're not. 
but this is not a standard heel. This is probably as nice as it gets for cushy shoes. I am very interested in seeing how their orthotics actually change things. I am also very interested in taking one of my orthotic inserts and putting it in here and finding out how that works. The sizing was very straightforward. It wasn't, uh, it didn't change. I'm, I've always been a seven. I will always be a seven, except for when I was pregnant and that, then I had a size eight foot, but that's standard. So that happens. Then I went back to a seven. So no big deal. Thank you. These rock. <gasps> I wasn't expecting to like these as much as I did. When I originally unwrapped these, I got excited because the color alone, look at, look at my lipstick and look at that. Mm. I love the color. I wanna get a matching purse now to this and then I would be able to have the, the matchy match look and if I had a red hat the, with the red shoes and the red purse, all of a sudden I have a vintage look that because matchy matchy was always a thing. So if you go matchy matchy, all of a sudden you're not today, you're then. And again, this entire episode is about comfortable feet and a practical approach to history bounding, vintage-esque vibe feel. Not time travel approved, unless you're running. If you are running and you know that you've got to look somewhat good, but you know there's a point that you're going to be sprinting, maybe these would be a good idea for your time travel escapades. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, share the video, go into the description. You know there's going to be links. You know there's going to be good things. Go there. Just do it.